Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up overlay modal in Figma, a simple technique that can instantly level up the interactivity of your designs. Whether you're trying to mimic real app behavior for a prototype, or just want to wow your teammates with polished user flows, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to set up beautiful, functional pop-ups right inside Figma. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. I already have a basic UI set up here just to save us a bit of time, but don't worry, if you're starting from scratch, this will still make complete sense. Think of a pop-up modal as the kind of message or extra panel you see in most apps when you tap checkout, view your notifications, or maybe see alerts. It appears right on top of the screen, lets the user focus on a specific task or message, and often dims the rest of the interface behind it. We'll be creating exactly that effect. The first thing I recommend is to create the pop-up overlay content as a separate frame in your Figma file. This lets you keep your main layout clean and, more importantly, makes it reusable. For this demo, let's say your pop-up is a payment success message, but you could do anything think menus, alerts, extra info, whatever suits your project. If you want to be super efficient, go ahead and make this overlay as a component so it's easy to update across your designs later. Now deciding where and how you want the pop-up to appear is pretty important. In our case, I want the pop-up to show when the user taps either the navigation bar or the checkout icon. So make sure those triggers, the buttons or icons, are all bundled into their own components too. Here, I've got a navigation bar already set up as a component, and my pop-up overlay frame is ready to go as well. Let's bring it all together in prototype mode. Click on the navigation bar component so it's selected. You'll notice a little blue circle or node on the edge of the selection, that's your prototyping handle. Click and drag this small dot over to your pop-up overlay frame, the one with your payment message or whatever your modal content is. If that doesn't happen right away, just make sure both frames are visible in your layers or use the layers panel to help guide you. Once the connection is made, the prototype tab will open a bunch of settings. Here, where the magic happens, set the trigger to on tap. You want the pop-up to open when someone taps the navigation bar. For action, choose open overlay. Now under Overlay, select the frame you want to show. In this example, it's frame 3, which contains the actual pop-up. A couple more key settings. Position the overlay centered on screen. This makes the experience consistent and ensures it doesn't jump around depending on the device size. Then check the option that says Close when clicking outside. That creates the intuitive behavior where users can simply click anywhere off the modal to close it, just like in real apps. Also, be sure to toggle on Background which will add a subtle dark overlay to the rest of your UI and direct attention to the pop-up. Think of it like dimming the lights when you want someone to focus on a stage. For a little extra polish, set the animation to move in, which gives your pop-up a smooth entrance instead of just appearing instantly. Choose a direction that makes sense, usually up or down, is visually pleasing. For the easing curve, go with ease out, so the pop-in movement feels natural and welcoming rather than robotic. Now for the fun part, press preview and test it out. Tap your navigation bar and watch the overlay pop into view. If something doesn't look right, take a breath and double check your connections or overlay settings. Remember Figma's prototyping tools are non-destructive and flexible, so tweak away until it feels just right. And that's it. You've just made a real interactive pop-up overlay in Figma. Play around with the settings and try using overlays for menus, alerts, side panels. There are so many possibilities once you know the basics. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a like and drop any questions or tips you have down in the comments. I love hearing what you all are building in Figma. Subscribe for more step-by-step -step design tutorials and I'll see you in the next one. Happy designing!